Hello, welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. In this video, we're going to be looking at um, some tips around awarding XP and gold and items uh, to our party on successful completion. Now, we did have a little look at that before um, when we were looking at using groups and the fact that we can use groups to do that. But there's some other ways to do it, um, partly because of the 3.0 update to the game engine. So essentially, we've got three different ways we can do that now. Um, we can do it as we did before by assigning that directly to groups. We can do it directly in the chat or we can do it through the journal. So this is really going to come down to how you want to do it, how you run your games. So we had a really useful um, comment um, from Targas1008 who mentioned one of the things that we were having a little bit of problem with was uh, assigning encounter XP. Uh, to our group so they solve a particular puzzle and they get that XP for doing that it's a really obvious kind of way around it but uh, I just didn't think of it so let's start with that then so let's go back to um, we look at our groups Haley's Heroes so we've got this grouped here and if you can remember one of the things we could do is with our encounters I've got mine on the right hand side here let me open my encounter here so on the left here, we've got the encounter. And if they defeat all these creatures, they're going to get the 550 XP that's automatically calculated. Let's say for some reason they only defeat two of the zombies. We can change that number. It's going to calculate that. And then we can award this experience points by clicking this award button. And we can either distribute it directly to our PCs or we can award it to the group. To distribute distribute later now as I mentioned in the other video my preference is I distribute I want to distribute XP to the group and then when they're in a sensible place such as camping overnight having a long rest then I will distribute distribute struggling with that word today distribute that XP uh, to the individual players so um, what we said though is if we've got an issue where uh, they've solve the compass rose problem and maybe there's a i don't know 400 xp bonus for solving this whole thing that's not directly tied to monsters the really obvious thing that i hadn't thought of uh, that came from targus uh, 1008 is why don't we create an actor so let's do that right now and we can call this actor uh we're, we're on the compass rose at the moment so let's use this so we call it compass rose xp Actually, what might be better is to go XP Compass Rose. The reason why is because it will put our XP characters um, listed together. Uh, so we can call them a non-player character. I'm not going to put them in a folder at the moment, but obviously I would do that. Uh, and here they are. And then what I can do is just adjust their CR. So if I make it CR2, that's at 450 XP, um, 2.5 yeah, it doesn't do anything. But I can change that CR of this to make it what I want. So let's call it a CR2. Um, that's our 450 XP. And I can close that. I can go to my... There we go. And I can just drag that and add that to that particular group of, uh, in inverted commas, monsters. So if they defeat the Harpy, they're going to get this. If they're going to defeat... Let's put that other zombie back on. That three zombies and the ghoul and they solve whatever mystery it is. They retrieve the item, they solve the puzzle, they rescue the girl, kill the baddie, save the entire planet. Whatever it is that they do, they're also going to get this XP for the compass rose thing. And of course I could put several on there for different parts. One might be, you know, solving a puzzle and there might be another bit about retrieving an item, etc. So I could do that. That's now all part of that encounter. So when they finished here, I could just check the numbers of those, award that lot, and here's our award box. Um, it's adding on. Uh, it's adding on the gold. Where's the gold coming from? I think that was already in there from something else, but it's adding on that thousand XP for that encounter, uh, and then I can again distribute it to the individuals if I want to, or award it to a whole of. Haley's heroes <laughs> too many h's 
So if we look over here, this currently says zero experience points in the party, click award, they've now got 1000 experience. So that's a really nice way that we can use encounters to sum up this entire encounter with the XP for the creatures and for any of the puzzles and things like that. Uh, the only thing, of course, is we potentially end up with quite a few characters called XP. Um, so we've got a choice what we do with that. We might, um, uh, you know, we might create another folder for all of those um, and we can just dump them in there and nest them. Um, what we probably can do is just stick in this instance, stick it in the shipwreck aisle um, with all, with these encounters in here. Uh, just dump that character in there. So that's one thing we can do, which is quite good. Uh, again, we can just double click on Haley's Heroes. We can see that 1,000 experience points is still there, which is great. Um, and um, everything is ready to go. Um, yep, we are set on party, just checking. Okay, so what's the other thing we can do? Um, so that is uh, directly in the encounter. Uh, we can also just do it in chat. So I need to double check that I get in this right of how to write this, but I think it is just um, slash award and then 150 GP. I think it does it. Uh, and there we go. It's going to pop up the distribute award um, box. I've got 150 gold and I can say how I want to distribute that. Click award. I ought to keep Haley's heroes up here actually. Let's keep them up here on the left. So we've just given them some gold there. We look in their inventory, we can see they're now up to 455 gold. And we can do the same for XP. So award um, 100 XP. Again, it's bringing up the distribute box, 100 experience points. We're going to send it to Haley's Heroes. Just jumped up to 100, uh, 1,100 for the party, ready to be distributed again at my convenience. But let's call up one of these characters. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's call up, uh, let's get Baldrick up here. So Baldrick is currently on 300 experience points. What we can do, I believe, let's check this. I can say let's ward 100 XP each. And I believe, so he's on 300. Um, okay. So it has gone straight to each here rather than split. Um, now that's just going to send it straight to Haley. Yeah, that's going to send it straight to Haley's Heroes. And that might be because I've got the party set up. My understanding was that it wouldn't quite do it like that. <laughs> um, if I do award party 100 XP. Aha, uh -huh, right. So it didn't bother to ask us there. It just added that straight into the party. So that's really good. So when I said when I said each, because it didn't know whether to give it to the players or to put it into the party. Um, yeah, it just defaulted and brought up the box. But because I very specifically said send that to the party, it has done that. So um, can I... So it says here, I'm just reading on the other screen from the notes, and it reckons that if I do... Uh, whoops. It helps if I can type... That's not going to help at all. So it reckons if I do slash award 100 XP each, it should automatically distribute that. But it's kind of not doing that. It's actually asking us how we want to split it, which is fine. I don't have a problem with it asking. Um, I'm probably not going to award through the chat myself. But just so you know, you can. They might go off piste and you haven't had a chance to create the encounters that they're doing. Um, and you need to give XP on the fly. Really good thing in the chat slash award, what the award is, and then it will allow you to pop that pop-up to come up so you can distribute it to each individual, split it between individuals, or my preference, shove it in the party. So that's really good. Uh, you might want to distribute gold immediately rather than um, sticking in the party, especially if you're using encumbrance, because if they've got 50,000 gold sitting in the party, nobody's technically carrying it. Um, so that will affect those sorts of things. Okay, so we can stick an actor into our encounter to carry the XP for the adventure elements as well as the combat elements. We can award directly through chat 
Or the other thing that we can do, which is new, I'm going to keep I'm going to keep Haley's heroes up over there, is we can do this through the journal. So if I pop open on the shipwreck um, on the Compass Rose shipwreck, if I pop open the captain's journal. I might want to award XP to my players for encountering this, um, for retrieving the journal. Um, so uh, anywhere I like, when I'm editing this page, I can put an award directly into it. So let's open this up. I'm going to pop this at the bottom. So if I do two open brackets, that's open square brackets, award space I can then put 400 XP two closed brackets uh, I'm going to put some for finding the journal so I'm going to put that in so that's two open brackets scope uh, open square brackets slash award the amount of XP I want close brackets, both square brackets again. Now if I close that, look what we now have in the journal. It says, finding uh, for finding the journal, 400 XP, and it's given us this award button. If I click that award button, it brings up our distribute award. We can split it between our players, we can send it straight to the party, so we've got 400 experience, currently 1300 in the party, now 1700. How good is that? So if you're using the journal to as the DM, um, as we did, let's switch scene and go to, well, let's look at the ones for the Seagrove Caves. So for the Fungus Farm, uh, as an example, we copied in the descriptions and things, the running combat and everything from the module and we put them straight in here. So we can just add those links in. Um, what you can also do is... Um, you can drag in items and stuff onto here as well if you need to reference them. Uh, so what we've got here is, um, yeah, the treasure from the fungus farm contains D6 heart cap mushrooms. So I created an item called heart cap mushrooms that only used in this adventure for, um, for this purpose. So creating a whole item for it, really not necessary, but I decided to do it to test it. So let's say they are in the fungus farm. Um, it's going to take D6, sorry, they're going to find D6 heart cap mushrooms. Um, if they spend 15 minutes looking and somebody who's looking makes a nature or survival check, DC 12. So let's say that um, they do that. I might uh, roll my dice and go, oh, you've got three of them. I can actually just drag that across straight from here because it's a link to the item and dump it in the party's treasure. Now in this case, I can just update that to say three. So they, the party now have three heart cap mushrooms. So we don't forget that they've got them. Does it matter who's carrying them at this point? Probably not. Um, so I'm happy to leave that in the party. But of course I could also drag it directly onto one of the characters if I wanted to, to make sure who's actually got it, um, who's carrying it. When they fall in lava, we know if it's been destroyed or not. Because guaranteed, somebody will fall in lava at some point in your adventure. If you're DMing right, <laughs> maybe that's just me. Uh, if nobody's fallen in lava in the past 12 months of playing, I'm, I'm, I'm being too soft on them. Um, so, and there's just a note here. But again, we can just add on to here if we want to. We don't even need, if it's for a GM, we don't even need to put anything about it. We can just put... Um, well, there's me not been out type again. Award 200 GP. Award 300 XP. And I can just pop those in back to the journal. There we go. Look, 200 gold, 300 XP. This also means that you could use the journal and have conditional. If they do this, they're going to get this reward. If they do that, they're going to get a different XP award. So where they've got decisions, you know, did they kill the bad guy? Did they rescue the hostage? Did they negotiate rather than fight? You might have different XP levels for each of those. You could just list them in here um, and do it that way. If you're not having your adventure 
in journals. So as I've said, normally I would run things with it on the other screen. That might not be the right way to do it for me. I may well be either using the chat, but I think I'm probably going to, I've lost it, I'm probably going to use this encounter thing. And I really like this idea of having just another actor um, that I can assign XP to and stuff and just dump it straight in there. I like that. I think that's a really good way of doing it. Um, I did mention about items. So I create a whole bunch of items just messing around creating items really. Um, and as you saw, I can drag those into the journal. Let's go back and open that captain's journal. Um, and if I go to edit here, I can take any one of these such as staff of defense and I can just drop it in here. Okay, so it's automatically given me the correct link. When I come out of here, there it is, Staff of Defense, Ruby Morsel, and I can drag it straight from this journal and give it, award it to the party if I want to. Uh, I've accidentally just given them a Staff of Defense for doing nothing. I'm going to take that away again. <laughs> but it's a really, really easy way to drop these reference things in. And if you're reading and somebody says, oh, I'll have a closer look at it, actually, it's really easy to pop that out and see that full description. Um, I think you can also you can dump it into the chat. It says Game Master. I'm hoping the players should be able to see that as I've dumped it in the chat. Uh, ah, okay, yep. Yeah. So it's asking me if I want to make it private. So by default, it's not. So that's good. So we can dump it in there if we want to. Um, and the ruby morsel so it's jumping the link and then we can just click the button they can click on this they can read the description and everything if they want to so just using those links is really really good to be able to do that but this is mostly about that being able to award xp and gold either so just to recap either by using the award function in the chat directly by using the um, encounter system, and we can create a fake actor to carry uh, adventure awards rather than just monster kills. Uh, or the other thing that we can do is um, put it in the journal. Three different ways to distribute your gold and your XP to your party, depending on what works best for you. And of course, you can use a mix of them. I hope that's uh, been useful. I'm not sure which method you want to use. Um, let me know. Take care, guys. See you in the next one.